أعوذ بالله من الشيطان اللعين الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم مولا صاحب عديه elders, brothers, sisters and lovely children Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh wa and welcome to another um, Saturday quiz uh, Mullah Sahib, how are you? Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen Abbas bhai uh, It has been quite uh, an eventful week and uh, a lot of time taken this uh, week in order to prepare the quiz especially the family quiz So inshallah uh, Alhamdulillah, everything is going okay, mashallah. Good, we're looking forward to it. Did you get the opportunity to watch any football this week? Yes, uh, I didn't get opportunity, but I keep track of Liverpool's record. Good, good, good. I'm glad, I'm glad we've had a, and, had a good week. Um, I think you had a draw today, is it? Yeah, well, anyway, Monty is laughing, so... Uh, Obviously, he'll check out our scores for us later on. Anyway, everybody, welcome uh, to another Saturday of Quiz. We're very much looking forward to it, uh, and we really hope you enjoy. Uh, if you haven't already joined, you've literally only got a few seconds. So that code for you today is 853188. So please do join. We're just going to go back to the main screen. We're going to give you 30 seconds, and then we'll crack on with the uh, quiz. Okay, so welcome back everybody. Uh, we're going to go straight on to our quiz. Uh, Mullah Sahib again has done for us true or false. So let's go to the question number one. So question one, true or false? Ashura is commemorated in the month of Muharram. Is this true or is this false? A very nice easy one for us to start off with. Ashura is commemorated in the month of Muharram. Is this true or is this false? You have five seconds. It looks like everybody has nearly answered. Here we go. The answer coming up on your screen. Oh, yes. Uh, 26 people have given the correct answer. Yes, it is true that uh, uh, the day of Ashura, the 10th of Muharram, the day when Imam Hussein alayhi salam and his companions, which included many of his relatives, his children, his brothers, were all sacrificed or all sacrificed their lives for the sake of Islam. So that's correct. Uh, Ashura is commemorated in the month of Muharram. Excellent. Okay, so let's go to the um, uh, let's go to the scoreboard. So we have Iman Fatima in first place, followed by uh, Zainab. Uh, ARJ, Ahmad Kareem at Qatar, and then Big Mike. So well done, everybody. Keep going and let's go to the second question. True or false? Fighting was prohibited in Muharram even during Jahiliyyah. Is this true or is this false? I'll repeat the question very quickly. Fighting was prohibited in Muharram even during Jahiliyyah. Is this true or is this false? You have eight seconds. Still a few people to answer. Have a guess. If not, this will be 50-50 for you, whether you're going to get it right or not. Okay, so 14 of you have said uh, uh, true and the others have said it is false. Uh, even in the period of Jahiliya, Jahiliya meaning pre-Islam days, when uh, uh, people used to worship idols, some people used to worship sun, moon and other things and uh, they had a very different kind of lifestyle based on a lot of superstitions 
And even during that time, in the Arab country, there were four months that were considered to be sacred. And during these four months, fighting was not allowed. It was, it was counted to be a big crime if people fought during those four sacred months. One of them was Muharram. Even there, during Muharram, did not allow fighting. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, here we have it. Iman Fatima still in first place, followed by Mona Lisa, uh, Zainab Roji in third place, Mahdiya, and then F.A. Roji in fifth place. However, up 10 places is Kumail, who is the highest climber. Keep trying, everybody. Let's get try and get everybody on the leaderboard uh, this week. So, question number three. True or false? Our seventh Imam Islam was born in the month of Safar. Is this true or is this false? Our seventh Imam Islam was born in the month of Safar. Is this true or is this false? You have 10 seconds on the clock. Looks like nearly everybody has answered. So it might go straight to the answer. And here we have it. Answer coming up right now. Okay, so 13 of you have said it is true, the rest 16 have said it is false. The correct answer is, yes, seventh Imam salam was born in the month of Safar. But because uh, we consider and we do not celebrate any happy or joyous occasions during the month of Safar, month of Muharram, and suffer. This is in respect to the uh, martyrs of Karbala and then the captives who were taken from Karbala to Kufa and then Kufa to Damascus. So during month of suffer we do not have any joyous or happy occasion. So we do not have a special program just to celebrate the birthday of seventh Imam. Instead we do so in the month of Rajab. But seventh Imam salam was born in the month of Safar. Before we go to the leaderboard, I just want to tell you all participants that all the questions today up to number 15 are all related to the events and the month. Events and the month. So uh, it is all true and false. Thank you Mullah Saib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Oh, so we have a bit of a change there. So now Zainab is in first place, followed by F.A. Roji, Ahmed Karim from Qatar in third place, Jabir Mavani and Maytham Mavani, fourth and fifth place. Up six places is Gumel, who is the highest climber. Gumel is going r up rapidly. So well done, Gumel. And everybody else, keep trying. We're only on the fourth question. Let's go to the fourth question. Okay, listen to this one very carefully, okay? The walk from Najaf to Karbala is during Muharram. Is this true or is this false? The walk from Najaf to Karbala is during Muharram. Is this true or is this false? You've got eight seconds, still got a few of you to answer. Have a good guess. And the answer is coming up right now. Okay, and 17 of you have said it is false. Uh, which is the right answer. Actually, uh, millions of people walk from Najaf to Karbala during the month of Safar. And most probably after the 10th of Safar, they start walking. It may take three days, it may, it may take four days in order to reach there on the day of Arba'in, which is the 20th of Safar. So the walk actually takes place in the month of uh, Safar. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Um, what do you think it's going to be like this year? Uh, I have no idea at all, uh, Abbas Bhai. Uh, I have no idea at all. Okay. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, another huge change we have here. Ahmad now in first place. Followed by Jabir, Maytham, AK and Ali John. Up nine places is uh, Abiha Shaban, who is the highest climber. So well done. Uh, let's go to the next question. Fifth uh, question. 
So, Miladun Nabi is in Rabbiul Akhir. Is this true or is this false? Miladun Nabi is in Rabbiul Akhir. Is this true or is this false? You have 10 seconds on the clock. Have a good guess. There's still a few of you to answer. And the answer coming up now. Okay, so 18 have given the correct answer. It is false. Milad means uh, the birthday. And Nabi, of course, is the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. And we know that uh, our Prophet was born in the month of Rabi ul awwal not Rabi ul akhar However, the Muslims, uh, probably not here in UK, but uh, in other parts of the world, and I know certainly in East Africa, they have gatherings in Rabi ul awwal and then it also goes up to Rabi ul akhar uh, weekends, they have gatherings just to celebrate the birthday of the Holy Prophet. But Prophet was born in the month of Rabi ul awwal Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so Jabir now in first place. Well done, Jabir, followed by Maytham, uh, AK, Ali John, and Kumail. Uh, Kumail is now on the leaderboard, so well done, Kumail. Up 11 places is Hussein Laka, who is the highest climber. So well done, Hussein. Everybody can see things can change. So keep going. We're only on question six. Let's go to question six. So, true or false, the birth and death date of Bibi Fatima is in the same month. Is this true or is this false? The birth and the death date of Bibi Fatima is in the same month. Is this true or is this false? And you have five seconds on the clock. Here we go, here's the answer. Okay, and 22, mashallah, have given the correct answer. It is true that uh, the birth, uh, the death date of Bibi Fatima Zahra alayha salam is commemorated on 3rd of Jamadi ul Akhar, and uh, on 20th of Jamadi ul Akhar. We celebrate the birthday of Bibi Fatima Zahra alayha salam. So it is the same month that is Jamadi ul Akhar. Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so a bit of a change there. Uh, we have uh, Jabir in first place, uh, Maytham, AK Kumail, and Ali John. Three players have just hit an answer streak of three. So well done. Let's go to the next question. So question number seven, true or false? Uh, the first Thursday of Safar is Laylatul Raghaib. Is this true or is this false? Our first Thursday of Safar is Laylatul Raghaib. Is this true or is this false? And you have five seconds on the clock. I think let's say one answered that very quickly there. Yes. Okay, so 19 have said it is false and of course uh, that is uh, right. Uh, the first Thursday of the month of Rajab is Laylatul Raghaib. On that day, on that Thursday, the first Thursday of Rajab, you fast and then after that uh, between Maghrib and Isha Namaz, there are uh, 12 rakat of prayers and then tasbihs to be recited and it is uh, highly recommended. So Laylatul Raghaib is in the month of uh, Rajab. Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, so we have somebody else joining us on, on the leaderboard. So we have um, Jair in first place, Maytham, AK Ali John, and Mahdia has joined the leaderboard. Well done, Mahdia. Three players have hit an answer streak of four. So, well done. Let's go to the next question. True or false? Our first Imam Islam was born in the month of Rajab. Is this true or is this false? Our first Imam Islam was born in the month of Rajab. Is this true or is this false? You have six seconds on the clock. Well, I say, I think everyone's answered that already. MashaAllah. Let's have a look. Answer coming up now. Okay, so 24, MashaAllah, have given the correct answer. And, uh, of course, uh, 
the 13th day uh, in the month of Rajab <coughs> inside the Kaaba was born the first Imam, Imam Ali alayhi salam and we do celebrate and we consider that day to be a very auspicious day the month of uh, Rajab. Okay, so let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so we have Jabir in first place, Maytham, A.K. Ali John, and Akuna Matata in fifth place. But up three places is 786, who is the highest climber. Uh, so well done, everybody. Keep trying. We are now going to question number nine. So, the announcement of the Prophet's mission was in Rajab. Is this true or is this false? The announcement of Prophet's mission was in Rajab. Is this true or is this false? You have eight seconds on the clock. Still a few of you to answer. If you don't know, give it a good guess. 50-50, you can get this right. Here we go. Here's the answer. Oh, no answer. Bear with us. Okay, we can't see the answer. Maybe you can see it on your screens. Just bear with us. Okay, we have the answer. Okay, so 10 of you have given the correct answer. Yes, it was on 27th day of Rajab, which is called the day of Mab'ath. And that is the day when the Holy Prophet received the first revelations and uh, the first revelations as you know begins with Iqra bismi rabbikal ladhi khalaq and uh, it was in the month of Rajab 27th day again a day when it is highly recommended to fast so 27th of Rajab thank you Mullah Sahib let's go to that leaderboard Okay, so not much change there. That was a tough round, though. Four players lost their answer streak of eight. So keep going. Let's go to the next question. Question number 10. You've still got a chance. True or false? So the night of Mehraj is celebrated in Shaban. Is this true or is this false? The night of Mehraj is celebrated in Shaban. Is this true or is this false? Eight seconds on the clock. 27 of you have already answered. Keep going. And the answer is now coming up on your screen, hopefully. There we have it. Okay, and 21 of you, mashallah, have given the correct answer. The night of Mi'raj is actually celebrated in the month of Rajab. Again, it is the eve of 27th Rajab, uh, when the Holy Prophet as Quran says, was taken from Mecca uh, up to Masjid al-Aqsa, this is in Jerusalem, and then from there he was taken up into the heavens, and this is uh, the Mi'raj, and it is uh, celebrated in the month of uh, Rajab. Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to the leaderboard, see if there's any change. Okay, not much change there. Uh, three in a row, F.A. Roji is back in the game. So well done. Um, let's go to the next question. A nice little easy one for you again. So the third and the twelfth Imam Islam were born in the same month. Is this true or is this false? Our third and twelfth Imam Islam were born in the same month. Is this true or is this false? Look at those answers come up so quickly. Still a few of you to answer. Have a guess. If you don't know, and your answer will come up on your screen now. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. 26 people have given the correct answer, and it is good to know. And I'm really happy to know that uh, uh, most of the children do know as to the time uh, when the third Imam was born, or the day when the third Imam was born, and the twelfth Imam. They were born in the month of uh, Sha'ban. Uh, on the 3rd of Sha'ban, we celebrate the birthday of Imam Hussein alayhi salam. And on 15th Sha'ban, we celebrate the birthday of uh, the Imam of our time. 
صاحب الزمان عجل الله فرجه الشريف so well done to all who have given the correct answer excellent thank you mula sahib uh, let's go to that leaderboard okay so akuna matata is in first place followed by jabir maytham ak and ali john um, up 11 places is um, oh Faiz Jarvis is the highest climber. Okay, up seven places. Well done. Let's go to the next question. Question number 12. True or false? Another name for Ramadan is Shahrullah. Is this true or is this false? Another name for Ramadan is Shahrullah. Is this true or is this false? You have 10 seconds on the clock. A few of you are a bit reluctant to answer this one. Have a good guess. Your answer coming up on your board right now. Right, so 13 of you have given the correct answer. Uh, 15 of you have said false. Shahrullah, shahr means month. Allah, so month of Allah. And the Holy Prophet, sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wa sallam, in the last Friday of the month of Shaban, used to prepare the companions to tell them that the month of Allah is coming. And the Prophet then used to tell them as to what good deeds and noble deeds they should try to achieve during this month of Ramadan. So yes, another name for Ramadan is Shahrullah. Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so not much change there. Ahmed uh, Kareem at Qatar is making a comeback with three in a row. So well done, everybody. Let's go to question number 13. We still have a chance to get on that leaderboard. And a very nice, easy, easy question. So true or false? Laylatul Qadr is in the month of Ramadan. Is this true or is this false? Wow, look at all that. Those answers. <laughs> okay, Laylatul Qadr is in the month of Ramadan. Is this true or is this false? And the answer coming up on your screen. Here we go. Oh, subhanallah, subhanallah. 29 have given the correct answer. Yes, uh, the month of Ramadan has one of the, e, the best night in the whole year, which is Laylatul Qadr. Laylatul Qadri khayrum min alfi shahr. The night of Qadr is better than 1,000 months. That act that you do on that night of Laylatul Qadr is better than the act that you do during 1,000 months. Subhanallah. It is in the month of Ramadan. Well done to all those who have given the correct answer. Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Leaderboard, please. Okay, so the leaderboard stays the same. Uh, five players have just hit an answer streak of four. So, well done. Let's go to question number 14. So you've still got a chance. So, the day of Arafah is in Shawwal. Is this true or is this false? The day of Arafah is in Shawwal. Is this true or is this false? You have 10 seconds on the clock. Okay. Might be a bit of a tricky one, so have a guess. There's still a few of you to answer. Answer coming up on your board now. Okay, so 23 of you know that the day of Arafah is not in the month of uh, Shawwal. Actually, the day of Arafah is in the month of Dhul Hijjah. Ninth of Dhul Hijjah is the day of Arafah, another important day. And those, uh, it is a day when uh, people who have gone for Hajj will go onto the plains of Arafat. Uh, people who have not gone for Hajj and they're in their hometown uh, would get themselves busy after the uh, Dhuhr and Asr namaz uh, in uh, remembering Allah, in praying to Allah, in the ibadat and this is highly recommended so day of arafah is in dhul hijjah well done to all those who gave the correct answer thank you mullah sahib let's go to that leaderboard okay so we have zainab who has joined us on the leaderboard in fifth place we've got akuna matata in first place ak jabir mavani and maytham five players have just hit an answer streak of five 
This is now the last question, everybody. You've got to be in it to win it. Question number 15. True or false? Uh, Shawwal, Zilkad, and Zilhaj are months of Hajj. Is this true or is this false? Shawwal, Zilkad, and Zilhaj are months of Hajj. Is this true or is this false? You've got eight seconds on the clock. Still two more to answer. Have a guess. Here we go. Right, so 19 of you said no. So they said it is false, but 11 have given the correct answer. Yes, uh, you can begin your Hajj in Shawwal. Of course, when you go there, you will perform the Umrah. That's the first part. And then from 8 of Dhul Hijjah, you will uh, perform the rest of the Amal up to 12th of Dhul Hijjah. So uh, it is considered that... Uh, the months of Shawwal, the month of Dhul Qada, the month of Dhul Hijjah are the months of Hajj. And uh, people go there, some people go as early as Shawwal, some people go in Dhul Qada or Dhul Qad, and uh, some people even join at the beginning of the month of Dhul Hijjah. So these are the months of Hajj. Uh, unfortunately, this year uh, people will not be able to go uh, for Hajj anywhere from outside Saudi Arabia because of the pandemic. But we pray to Allah Azza wa Jal that uh, this uh, disease and this pandemic uh, goes away as soon as possible, inshallah. Uh, I hope uh, you participants today have learned uh, the important events in the uh, Islamic calendar. And it's important uh, that we are aware of the different uh, important days. Uh, some of these days are highly recommended for us to fast during those days. Uh, thank you everyone for participating. I'll pass it on to Abbas Bai for now the final score. Thank you very much Mullah Saib. So <coughs> let's go to the scoreboard. So in third place, who do we have? We have Jabir. Well done Jabir. You've done an absolutely amazing job followed by AK. Well done, AK. And in first place, who do we have? Kuna Matata. Well done. Okay, let's have a look at our runners-up. We have Maytham in fourth place and then Kumail in fifth place. And to everybody um, who has participated today, you have done an absolutely amazing job. Um, so well done. Um, we're so pleased that you have joined us today and you've hope, we hope that you've had um, some great fun today. And again, Mullah Saib, thank you so much for putting those questions together. I know it takes time and you have to do your research, etc. Um, I haven't been any help to Mullah Saib putting these questions together. So um, thank you very much, Mullah Saib. Um, what we're now going to do is we're going to ask you to do some feedback for us. There is some feedback you will see on your Kahoot screen. Give us some feedback uh, to see how we can um, improve anything. Um, and also, if you've got positive feedback, we would love that too. This is a great opportunity for us to tell you, both Mullah Saib and I, that we're thinking of trying to perhaps do a different type of quiz. Um, we, will be, we will let you know as we um, organize something for you. Please do give us some feedback. This is also a good time if you're not already sitting with your family uh, to go and get them. All sit together for the family quiz. That will be coming up on your screen very, very shortly. Um, the code, uh, sit down together and have some great fun. Both Mullah Saib and I will be with you very, very shortly. See you soon.
ओके वी वुड लव एवरी वन ऑफ यू टू पार्टिसिपेट माशा एंड आई कैन सी दैट मैनी ऑफ यू आर जॉइनिंग नाउ इन दिस क्वीज आई एम ओनली वेरी हम्बली रिक्वेस्टिंग यू ऑल प्लीज लेट्स हैव प्रॉपर नेम्स फॉर पार्टिसिपेटिंग इन दिस क्वीज रिमेंबर दैट our purpose is of course to learn our purpose is to educate but at the same time we keep uh, uh, the etiquette uh, and i am requesting you please very humbly to uh, please uh, those of you who are giving uh, different names uh, please change them into uh, respectable names please uh, we will be really really grateful shukran Our dear families, welcome back to the quiz. I will now hand over to Mullah Saib uh, to start the quiz. Okay, Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim, and uh, I take uh, great pleasure in welcoming you all to the family quiz this week, uh, the 11th of July, and uh, as it was uh, uh, announced that uh, the quiz this uh, week is. Uh, Uh, Hajj Part One, and it is history of Hajj. Uh, Insha Allah, the questions are very interesting, and uh, it is our aim to try and uh, uh, give information, Insha Allah, for people participating uh, to know, as well as all those who are listening, uh, to know about the. history of hajj insha allah so i want to welcome you all and uh, we will begin the quiz let me tell you again it's true and false and you have 20 seconds to answer the question so appearing on the screen is the first question okay let's have it first question Hajj literally means an intention of doing something important. Please read the question properly. Hajj literally means an intention of doing something important. Okay, you have seven seconds on the clock. Is this true or is it false? Still a number of you to answer. The answer coming up on the board. Okay, and mashallah, thirty-one people have given uh, the correct answer. Uh, according to the Arabic dictionary, like one of them is Lisanul Arab, 
written by Ibn Manzur, as well as uh, uh, there is another one uh, which is Tajul Arus. These uh, people who have done the English, I mean the Arabic dictionary, have said that Hajj or Hijj means a proof or demonstration or an intention of doing something important. Sometimes it is said that Hajj means visit. Okay, so uh, even our ziyara could be like Hajj, that is a visit. So it is correct that it is an intention of doing something important. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Let's go to this leaderboard. Let's see who's made top five. So we've got Mahdiya in first place, uh, Dukra in second place. I really like those. Uh, uh, Roshan Abbas Manji in third place. Uh, Iman Fatima in fourth place and Benin in fifth place. So well done everybody. Uh, let's go to the next question. All the rules of Hajj are found in Surah Al-Hajj. All the rules of Hajj are found in Surah Al-Hajj. Is this true or is it false? Wow Mullah Sahib, look at all those answers shooting up so quickly. We've got five seconds viewers. True or false? And the answer is coming up your, on your screen right now. Okay, so 26 of you have given the correct answer. Uh, surah Hajj is the 22nd Surah in the Holy Quran. Although in the list of revelation, it was the 104th Surah revealed. But in Quran, it is mentioned as the 22nd Surah. It was revealed in Medina, and there are 78 verses. From verses number 25 up to verse number 37, you find about Hajj. So there is the announcement of the Hajj. It includes some rules uh, about its obligation. For example, rules of sacrifice the permission to eat the meat of the sacrifice, the obligation of tawaf of the Kaaba, some of these rules are mentioned in there. So not all the rules are found in Surah Al-Hajj. Okay, let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, so there is a bit of a change there. Roshan Abbas in first place, followed by Dukra, uh, Chicken Palace, uh, Iman Fatima, and then we have Benin in fifth place. Let's go to the next question. So we have in third um, third question. Uh, Allah ordered Adam alayhi salam to call people of Hajj. Is this true or is this false? Uh, Allah subhanahu wa taala ordered Adam alayhi salam to call people of Hajj. Is this true or is this false? You have three seconds on the clock. Still a number of you to answer. Have a guess. Here we have it, Mullah Sahib. Okay, so 27 of you have given uh, the correct answer and it is false. In fact, in Quran, Allah Azza wa Jal, in Surah Hajj, verse number 27 mentions, وَأَذِّنْ فِي النَّاسِ بِالْحَجِّ يَأْتُوكَ رِجَالًا وَعَلَى كُلِّ ضَامِرٍ يَأْتِينَا مِنْ كُلِّ فَجٍ عَمِيقٍ it was order that was given to Nabi Ibrahim that he should proclaim the Hajj to people. They shall come to you on foot and on lean camels coming from distant places. So it is not Nabi Adam but Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. Oh, thank you Mullah Sahib for that explanation. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so a bit of a change there. So we have Benin in first place, followed by Safiya, Iman Fatima in third place, uh, Shoeb and Saf in fifth place. Ahmed Ad Qatar has a streak with three correct answers in a row. So well done, everybody. Let's go to the next question. Okay, true or false? Age of ignorance. There was no responsibility to wear ihram. Is this true or is this false? Age of ignorance. There was no responsibility to wear ihram. Is this true or is this false? You have eight seconds on the clock. Have a good guess if you don't know. It's 50-50. And the answer coming up now. Wow. 
Wow, and 33 of you have said that there was no responsibility to wear a haram. Well, correct answer is that there was that responsibility. Even in the period of Jahiliya, I will give you a bit of background to all this. According to some hadith, the history of Ihram goes back to the building of the Kaaba and the first Hajj. It is said that in a hadith that God does not send any angel to the earth unless he orders him to visit the Kaaba. So the angels were Ihram next to he, the Arsh of Allah, that is divine throne, and then descend towards the Kaaba. From our sixth Imam, it is narrated that after the repentance of Nabi Adam, Jibreel came and taught him how to wear Ihram and Talbiya. And then also Jibreel taught Nabi Ibrahim and Nabi Ismail. However, what used to happen is, that people during the age of ignorance, they used to wear ihram, but they were also superstitious. So it is said that uh, during ihram, they would not enter their house through the door. Rather, they would dig a tunnel at the back of the house and use it. What was their argument? Their argument was that during ihram, the way of wearing clothes is uh, forbidden from them, and therefore they believe that they cannot become mohrim unless uh, they also change the way they enter into their houses. So this is uh, in age of ignorance, but Ihram was there. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, so we have a change. Uh, star JC in first place, uh, Benin, Safiya, Iman Fatima and Shoeb in fifth place. A combo breaker though, 12 players have dropped their answer streak of three. Keep trying everybody, let's go to the next question. Okay, true or false? Age of ignorance, they used to be clapping when doing tawaf. Is this true or is this false? Age of ignorance, they used to be clapping when doing tawaf. Is this true or is this false? You have five seconds. And the answer coming up on your board, on your screen right now. Right, and 23 of you have given the correct answer, yes. And the history says that the religious rites of Tawaf during the period of Jahiliya, age of ignorance, was reduced to a circus. Women and men went round the Kaaba performing Tawaf stark naked. They said, we shall go before God in the same condition in which our mothers gave birth to us. Prayer in the Masjid of uh, Nabi Ibrahim was accompanied by hand clapping, whistling and blowing of horns. That is, uh, the mas in Masjid al-Haram, uh, uh, when they used to perform the tawaf, uh, when they used to pray, they used to be whistling, clapping, blowing of horns, uh, during the age of ignorance. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so big change there. Star JC in first place. Saf is in second place. Shoeb, Sakina at Qatar in fourth place. And Abiya Shaban in fifth place. Up nine places, though, is Ali Haider from Birmingham. So well done, Ali Haider. He's the highest climber so far. Up nine places. Let's go to the next question. Okay, true or false? Maqam Ibrahim is the sign of the original house of uh, Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. So, Maqam Ibrahim is the sign of, uh, of the original house of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. You have eight seconds on the clock. Is that true or is this false? And the answer coming up on the board, here we have it. Okay, and 25 of you have given the correct answer. Of course, uh, according to narration, after Allah Azza wa Jal ordered Nabi Ibrahim salam to call to people to Hajj, he stood on a stone and did God's order and his footprint on the stone. This is one tradition. In another tradition, it is said that his footprint remained on this stone when he, standing on this stone, 
was constructing the top parts of the walls of Kaaba. So it's not the original house of Nabi Ibrahim, but it is the stone on which Nabi Ibrahim stood there. Thank you for that, Mullah Saib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so a bit of a change there. Star JC still in first place. Shoeb Sakina from Qatar, Abiha Shaban, and Nana Jan in um, fifth place. Up eight places though is Hania, who is the highest climber. So well done, Hania. Let's go to the next question. True or false? Hajar al Aswad is a stone bought by Angel uh, Jibril. Is this true or is this false? Hajar al Aswad is a stone bought by a Angel Jibreel. Is this true or is this false? You have six seconds on the clock. Here we have it. Answer coming up on your screen. And MashaAllah, 35 of you have given the correct answer. And yes, according to some hadith, when Nabi Ibrahim salam, was building the Kaaba, Jibreel brought this stone from heaven so that it could stand in a corner of the Kaaba and become an axis for Tawaf. So yes, this is a heavenly stone that was brought by Jibreel at the time when Kaaba was constructed by Nabi Ibrahim and Nabi Ismail alayhim as -salam. Okay, so let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so uh, star JC in first place, Shoeb, Sakina, Nanajan, and Chapati in fifth place. Nanajan is making a comeback with three in a row, so well done, Nanajan. Let's go to the next question. Okay, so true or false? Hajarul Aswad has always been in its place since uh, the Kaaba was built. Is this true or is this false? Hajarul Aswad has always been in uh, its place. Uh, since the Kaaba was built. Is this true or is this false? You have five seconds. Uh, still a number of you to answer yet. Have a guess if you don't know. And here's the answer. And 21 of you have said it is false uh, and which is the right. Uh, and the history of this is that in the year uh, 317 AH, there was a group of people who are called Karmatis, uh, and they attacked Mecca, they plundered Mecca with several, for several successive days. They killed the residents and the visitors, and they did a great harm to the great mosque and the sacred places. But one of the things they did was they took away Hajarul Aswad from there, and then in the year 339, they returned it. So for 22 years, it was not uh, there. Thank you, Mullah Saib. Let's go to that leaderboard. So we have star JC in first place, Shoeb, Sakina in Qatar, uh, Ahmed in Qatar, and Saf in fifth place. That was a tough round, actually. Five players lost their answer streak of three. So let's go to the next question. True or false? Okay. The act of Sa'i is a reminder of Hajra's efforts to find water for Ismail alayhi salam. The act of Sa'i is a reminder of Hajra's efforts to find water for Ismail alayhi salam. Okay, here we have it, the answer coming up. And yes, 36 of you have given the correct answer. According to Hadith, when Bibi Hajra was searching water, for Nabi Ismail Islam, who was still an infant, she went back and forth between Safa and Marwa mountains for seven times. This uh, uh, tradition uh, was a Hajj ritual even during the age of ignorance. And during this period, instead in there, Safa and Marwa, there were two idols. And uh, these two idols were called Usaf and Naila, and uh, they considered that these were people who had done something wrong and they were turned into stones. So even during the period of 
Jahiliya people used to do Sa'i. Thank you, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, so the leaderboard stays the same. And we have four players who have hit an answer streak of four. So let's go to the next question. Okay, so true or false? Um, question number 10. In pre-Islamic times, blood of sacrificed animals was poured on the Kaaba. Is this true or is this false? In pre-Islamic times, blood of sacrificed animals was poured on the Kaaba. Is this true or is this false? You have five seconds on the clock. Still a number of you to answer. The answer coming up on your screen now. Okay, so... Uh, 21 of you have given the correct answer. Yes, uh, uh, the sacrifices were made and they were made in the name of God. However, the blood of the sacrificed animals, this is period of Jahiliya, was poured on the walls of Kaaba. The flesh was hung also on the walls of Kaaba. Why the reason, why were they doing though that they were in that belief that Allah Azza wa Jal demanded from them flesh and blood. While in Surah Al-Hajj, Allah Azza wa Jal makes it very clear that Allah is not in need of that flesh and blood. What he is in need of is the sincere intention of sacrificing an animal during the time or during the rites of uh, Hajj. Thank you very much, Mullah Sahib. Let's go to the leaderboard. Okay, so uh, everything remains up, uh, the same except in fifth place. Um, I won't be able to say that though, up seven places. Uh, Yi is the highest climber apparently. So let's go to the next question. So, true or false, the Holy Prophet performed only one Hajj after Hijra. Is this true or is this false? The Holy Prophet performed only one Hajj after Hijra. Is this true or is this false? And you have eight seconds on the clock. Still a number of you to answer. Have a guess if you don't know. And here we have it. The answer coming up on your screen now. Okay, and 33 of you have given the correct answer. Uh, let me just give you a little bit of history. After Hijra, so after Prophet migrated from Mecca to Medina, he went to Mecca for Umrah three times, according to one historian. But most of the historians and scholars believe that he only attended one complete Hajj that performed the ritual Hajj. And that was the time when he showed the Muslims how to correctly perform the Hajj according to the teaching of uh, Islam. And that one Hajj of the Holy Prophet is uh, called Hajjatul Wada. Some people have said it is also called Hajjatul Balagh. Because that is the time when that verse was revealed. Ya ayyuhar rasulu ballegh ma unzila ilayk. And it is also called Hajjatul Islam. So different names have been given for this Hajj. Prophet performed only one. Thank you Mullah Sahib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, star JC still in first place. Everything stays the same, uh, but uh, Nando's is back with an answer streak of three. So let's go to the next question. Question number 12, true or false? The Kaaba was first covered with cloth in the mid-1920s. Is this true or is this false? The Kaaba was first covered with cloth in the mid-1920s. Is this true or is this false? You have five seconds on the clock. Still a number of you to answer. The answer coming onto your screen now. Okay, and 25 of you are saying it is true. 15 of you said it is false, which is right. So the history tells us that the first person to cover the Holy Kaaba with full kiswa, full kiswa meaning uh, the, all the cloth. As you can see today, uh, it's... Uh, it's in different pieces and then it is brought up. Uh, you may have seen a video also on the YouTube as to how they put up the cloth on the Kaaba. Not only the Kiswa, but also that person set up a door that could be locked in the Holy Kaaba. The person who did this was As'ad Abu Qurib al-Himyari, who is known as uh, Tubba and uh, 
he was or came was it was in this world four centuries before the holy prophet so this is before 400 years before even islam was spread uh, the kaaba was covered and it was uh, uh, he who started this and of course during the period uh, it has changed there was time when it was being uh, prepared in egypt and it was brought with all the celebrations up to mecca according to some historians before uh, in islam or before uh, the kaaba the cloth on the kaaba used to be uh, changed three times during the year okay now of course it is only once during the year and uh, today it is being uh, uh, done by the saudi arabian government Okay, let's go to the leaderboard, see if there's any change. Okay, slight change there, Star JC still in first place, Sakina in Qatar second place, Shoaib, Waffles and Ahmed in Qatar in fifth place. Three players have reached an answer streak of four. So, well done everybody. Let's go to the next question. Question number 13, true or false? Hijra Ismail is a place where Hajra and Ismail are buried. Is this true or is this false? Hijra Ismail is a place where Hajra and Ismail are buried. Is this true or is this false? You have five seconds on the clock and the answer is coming up on your screen now. Yes, and 23 of you have given the correct answer. Of course, it is true. In fact, when Nabi Ibrahim brought his wife Hajra and his infant son Ismail, uh, they first made their house which was of course very simple covered with uh, the branches of the tree it was at that place that is where is Hijra Ismail was actually the house of Hajra and Ismail there and after they died both of them were buried there and there are other prophets also who are buried there before the or after the Holy Prophet started spreading the message of Islam and he was in Mecca for those 13 years doing tabligh, the central place for the Holy Prophet was Hijr Ismail. This is where he used to sit and he would perform his prayers and at the same time he would recite Quran there and people would come and meet him there also. Thank you Mullah Saib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so there is a, a slight shift there in the leaderboard. We have three in a row. Ali Haider from Birmingham is back in the game. So well done, Ali Haider, who is from Birmingham. Let's go to the next question. Question number 14. So true or false, the army of Yazid attacked the Kaaba in the year 64 AH. Is this true or is this false? The army of Yazid attacked the Kaaba in the year 64 AH. Is this true? Or is this false? You have seven seconds on the clock. Still a number of you to answer. So have a guess if you don't know. And the answer is coming up on your screen now. Okay, and 23 of you have given the correct answer. Yes, uh, before the army of Yazid attacked Kaaba, they had gone to Medina. And the event of Harra is known, well known in history where for three days Masjid al-Nabawi became stable for the horses. For three days there was no prayer, no jama'at, no azan in from coming out from Masjid al-Nabawi and thousands of people were killed in Medina. After that this army came and they attacked the Kaaba and they threw uh, fire and there were many people also killed in Mecca uh, this was in the year 64 AH. Okay, let's go to that leaderboard. Okay, so Shuib now in first place, followed by Sakina. A star JC goes down to third place. Ahmad in fourth place and Waffles in fifth place. Star JC is making a comeback though with three in a row. So well done. Let's go to the final question. Question number 15. So, true or false? Uh, Surah Al-Fil describes about an attack on the Kaaba. Is this true or is this false? Uh, Surah Al-Fil describes about an attack on the Kaaba. Is this true or is this false? You have eight seconds on the clock. Still a number of you to answer. 
So here we have it, Mullah Saib, the answer coming up on the screen. Okay, oh, mashallah. Wow. Yes. Wow. 32 have given the correct answer and uh, they know about uh, the story of Abraha. He's quite famous uh, person who had come with uh, elephants uh, and the reason why he wanted uh, to destroy the Kaaba was that he had built a church uh, in Yemen and he wanted people to come and perform pilgrimage in that church there and people refused and they still were coming this is before Islam this is even before the birth of the Holy Prophet in fact the Prophet was born in that same year so Abraha had come with armies uh, of elephant to come and destroy the Kaaba and as they were moving there Allah ordered Ababil as you all know in Surah Al-Fil uh, that uh, how they were crushed uh, and how the whole army was destroyed and this is the power of Allah Azza wa Jal. before I hand it over to Abbas Bhai uh, to close sincerely I would like to thank every one of you those who have participated those who have been listening to the questions on the quiz uh, and I hope that uh, it has been uh, a useful uh, lesson or people will have learned uh, from this. Uh, inshallah, we will be also coming up with uh, Hajj part two, which is not next week, because next week, inshallah, we will be discussing about uh, our ninth Imam. So next week, the family quiz will be on ninth Imam. Abbas Bhai, I hand it over to you. Thank you so much, Mullah Saib. Let's go to that leaderboard. Let's see who's made third place. Okay, third place, we have Star JC, well done, whoever you are. In second place, we have Sakina in Qatar, well done, Sakina. And in first place, oh, I don't like this weight. We have Shoeb, Shoeb, well done in first place. Let's see if I can see the um, runners up. So we have Ahmed um, and also Waffles in fourth and fifth place. So well done, everybody. Um, what we'd like uh, to ask everybody is to just complete that feedback that you have on your screen right now on the Kahoot screen um, and on behalf of Mullah Saib and I we'd like to sincerely thank every single person that has joined uh, we really do enjoy your company every Saturday um, and we take this opportunity to pray for everybody in the world who is suffering right now um, and everybody in the world um, who needs our prayers right now we kindly ask that you remember them in your prayers. And on behalf of Mullah Saib and I, inshallah, we'll see you again next week. And we say kudafis to you, but we end by asking you to recite a surah Fatiha for all those who we have lost in our community and to everybody in the world uh, who we have lost. Please kindly recite a surah Al-Fatiha.